All right, this is part two. Yeah. Avatar, uh, Zayn's will blow the, the uh, Avatar box office out of the water. <laughs> yeah. It'll blow all these movies out of the water. Looking at like 80, 90, 100 billion in sales. Something crazy. 80, 80, 90, 80 plus billion in sales at least, right? Yeah, the first Avatar had a lot of legs. It did almost $3 billion. Yeah. Crazy, huh? <laughs> This one already topped over the $1 billion R, R, um, uh, number. Now, will it have enough legs to hit the $2 billion R range? I don't know. We'll see what happens. It opened with just 70... It opened with just $77 million in the U.S. In 2009. But it had small drops at the box office over the course of its month-long theatrical run. It declined just 2% in its second weekend. And only 9.5% from that in its third. It ultimately grows 785 million in the US alone. Yeah, the first Avatar opened with $77 million. Opening weekend. And this one almost doubled that. It did one like 34 million opening weekend domestically. And it did 785 million in the US alone domestically. The first Avatar movie. It only had a 2% drop in its second weekend. And 9.5% drop in its third. So it had a lot of legs the first movie. And that's why it did like almost $3 billion. I remember seeing it on theaters when I was like 17 years old. I was a young kid back then. That, that's the thing. The thing about Avatar 2 is that James Cameron waited far too long for the for, 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 for the sequel, man. Hence, I think it lost a bit of momentum, momentum with the fans. And he's going to have to rely on the word of mouth spread to get more fans in the seats. Hey, did you see this movie, man? You got to see it. I mean, you got to have the word of mouth spread, obviously. Um, um, I think the key to the legs is the word of mouth spread and the repeat viewings. Those are the two keys to the what? To, to, to the Avatar making, um, Avatar 2 making, crossing that $2 billion mark. It already crossed the one billion mark, but it, it has to, it needs to make like $1.2 plus billion to break even, man. And so will it, will it hit that? I think it will. But it, will it hit that 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8 billion R range? That way, that way it's very profitable, obviously. But we'll see what James Cameron has to say. If the movie does 1.8 billion dollars and James Cameron says the movie lost money, then I'm gonna question his accounting. Okay, James, your numbers don't add up. Like, are, are, are you doing this for, 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 are you doing false advertising for, for a marketing tool or what? I think he is. I think I think I think what John and Rob's I don't think I don't, I think what I think James Cameron is pulling a, a marketing tool, a false advertising marketing tool to get more fans to watch his movie. That way, his movie is a huge hit. Obviously, okay. If I if if I if, if 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 I what if I set the bar very very high for how much my movie has to make, false advertising. Obviously, hopefully more fans watch my movie and it, it does more than two million dollars. It's a smash hit. Because James Cameron's a genius. Obviously, that's my theory. I think it's just a false advertising marketing around James Cameron's part. So he might be a little bit deceptive when, when, he, when he's talking about the marketing. Don't hate me, James Cameron, I'm saying. As all, 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 all advertising, they're all a bit, they're all, they're all deceptive, to be honest. That's the world we live in, man. When you watch the McDonald's trailers and, 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 and the Burger King trailers, the Subway trailers, you know how those sandwiches, they look, they look like perfect, they look so neat? You know, when you go to Subway, you go to McDonald's, the burgers are a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's false advertising, obviously. My theory is James Cameron's using false advertising to get more people to watch his movie. It's an advertising tool to get more people to watch his movie, obviously. Okay, if I set the buy really hard, really high at $2 billion, I, I think the domestic thing, I, I don't think he really meant that, perhaps. I don't think he meant this. Here. I think it's just, it's just a false advertising tool to get more people to see his movie, which is a smart marketing tool. Okay, if I set the bar high at $2 billion, hopefully more people buy my movie and, 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 and buy it. And, 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 and it does more than two million dollars. I don't think it needs to do two million to break even. Uh, James Cameron's just he's just he's just messing around with the numbers, obviously. He just threw a crazy number out there. Yeah, it has to do like two billion to break even. You know what I'm saying? James Cameron might say that in a in a way in, in, in a way, yeah, this movie's was J that might be James Cameron's expression of saying, Yeah, this movie was 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 very very, very expensive. It has to do like two billion dollars. He, he was probably over exaggerating, James Cameron. It's a marketing tool to get more people to see his movie. That's my theory. That's probably the, 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 right, the right answer, obviously. Those kinds of slight drops are rare today, but the way... 
The way of the water still had a better hold in the second weekend than most recent blockbusters, falling 52 percent in its second weekend in the U.S. So the way of the water fell fifty two percent in the second weekend compared to the what? The two percent of the first movie. The first movie fell by two percent the second weekend. Avatar two fell by fifty two percent the second weekend. So my guess is it'll do probably one point five, one point six million dollars around there. Obviously, repeat viewing would help us momentum. Yes, I said the two keys for Avatar hitting that two billion dollar range is repeat viewings and the word of mouth spread. A lot of people have to be buzzing over the movie, telling people to watch this movie. Repeat viewing would help us momentum. At the box office in the coming weeks, one exhibition uh, exhibition source told Insider that the movie ranked below recent tentpoles, including Marvel movies and repeat ticket sales, and that it didn't appear to large to, to be a large driver of its box office so far. Yeah, the two keys are repeat repeat viewings and word of mouth spread. People have to tell people you gotta what you gotta see this movie. I remember when Avatar came out, everyone kept telling me, "Did you, did you see Avatar? Did you see Avatar?" I'm like, I'm like, no, I never saw Avatar. You gotta watch the movie, man. It's fucking beautiful, so gorgeous. I'm like, I want to see this movie. And I saw it on theaters when I was like 17 years old. And everyone I saw the movie, I'm like, wow, this is fucking beautiful. Yeah, the the whole thing with the whole the whole world it was amazing. Yeah, man. But the way the water faces little competition. Yes, the only competition it has is like Puss in Boots. But Puss in Boots is not a real competition for Avatar. Avatar will do probably a good... Avatar will probably do a good what? Um, um, Puss in Boots will probably do maybe a good two fifty, three hundred, four hundred million dollars in the box office. It did like 50, 50, 50 million opening weekend. It'll probably hit maybe two fifty, three hundred, four hundred million uh, box office puss and moves. It'll be a hit, obviously, but not the kind of money Avatar's doing. That's the only competition Avatar has right now, pretty much. Wakanda Forever is 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 what the buzz has died down for that. It's been in, it's been out for almost a month and a half now. Not many people are seeing Wakanda Forever anymore because the movie's been out for almost a month and a half now. As it's its only competition is is puss and moves, pretty much. And Babylon's flopping. I heard. Don't hate me. You know what I'm saying. Babylon's flopping and what? And Puss in Boots is doing really good so far, obviously. And all the other movies are, are, are not a competition for Avatar, obviously. But the way the water faces little competition until the next temple re release, Marvel's Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania in February and still has time to meet its high expectations. And that ends this article. Here is an article by Variety, but I think it's the same article that I read. It's the same article that I read. Um, it's from Yahoo Finance, but it's published by Variety. It's the same article that I read. Uh, the Joe Blow. It's just pretty much the same article. Yeah, this is by Variety. It's a short article here. It's pretty much the same article as the Joba article that I read, right? I'll read this article very quickly and I'm going to shut this camera off here, guys. So this is published by Yahoo Finance, obviously, but, but, um, but, uh, Variety published, but Variety, Yahoo Finance took, to um, uh, Yahoo Finance published a, a, an article written by Variety, right? It's by Brett Lang. His box office, James Cameron's Avatar, The Way of the Water, hits 1.17 billion global. Yeah, 1.17 billion globally. So that Joe Blow article is right, obviously. Avatar, The Way of the Water, continues to dominate the holiday box office. James Cameron's epic adventure has now hit the 1.17 billion mark globally, becoming the third highest grossing film in the pandemic era behind Spider-Man, No Way Home with 1.9 billion, and Top Gun Maverick, 1.5 billion. I think Avatar will probably top Top Gun Ma Maverick. You see what I'm saying? It will top that. Um, um, I don't know if it will top No Way Home. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It might perhaps top it. We'll see what happens, obviously. If it does, I will not be surprised. But I don't think it will. But if it does, I will not be shocked, guys. You can't bet against James Cameron. You see what I'm saying? 
This is a short article, and after this video, I'll, I'll comment a little bit, and I will shut this camera off here, guys. And you better enjoy this, this Ivan's commenting series, Why So Comment. On Wednesday, Avatar The Way of the Water grossed $20 million domestically, bringing its stateside haul to $358 million in, 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 in the U.S., and added $47.9 million to the pot from international markets. That puts its foreign gross at $810 million so far. That's crazy. So it did $810 million worldwide. It now ranks as the highest grossing international release of the year. But the Avatar sequel carries a massive price tag. Cameron has suggested that in order to break even Avatar The Way of the War needs to be one of the highest grossing movies in history. Sources close, this is from Variety, sources close to the production claim he was being somewhat hyperbolic and said, said yeah, I believe James Cameron was saying they need to do $2 billion to, uh, to, 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 it's a false advertising marketing tool to get more people to see his movie. Smart, obviously, very genius. He set the bar so high, that way more people can see his movies. And he, and he, hopefully he, it, it's a huge hit, obviously. I think James Cameron was just, was, I don't think he misspoke. I, I don't think James Cameron misspoke. I think he knew for what he was saying. I think he was just saying $2 billion for a marketing tool. Yeah, my movie has to do something crazy like $2 billion. In a sense that yeah my yeah my yeah my movie was made for so much money I had to do something crazy like in a two billion dollars to break even. I think he was just do using that as a marketing tool. I don't think he meant the message like John Campion said. I don't think that it has to do more than eight hundred million to break even. I don't think he was talking about the series. I think he was it was a false advertising tool to get more people to see your movie. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But he, listen to this. This is how you know John Camp is wrong. Don't hate me, John. I'm saying sources close to the production claim he was somewhat hyperbolic and set the break even closer at 1.4 billion dollars. Yes, it's not 800, 900 million break even. No, it's the 1.2 billion. Even this guy says, yeah, about that 1.4. I think it's 1.2 billion range the break even. See, I'm right. I'm always right. I'm saying a milestone that the sequels has a good chance of achieving. Obviously, I don't think Avatar needs to do 1.4 to break even. I think it has to do about 1.2 but to break even. But these guys are obviously giving an estimation number, and it's around it's in the billion plus. Yeah, like I predicted, some Sarah. Whereas John Camp and all of them said it had to do 800 million to break even. No, it has to do like a billion two to break even. It was made for 350 400 million dollars, and they spent like 200 million plus in marketing. And so it, it, no way it has to do 800 million to break even. It has to do like 1.2, 1.3, 1.2, 1.1.2 1.2 billion to break even around there. Avatar The Way of the Water focuses on the Sully clan as they face down a set of invaders that threaten the harmony of Pandora, their mystic home planet. Cameron developed new technology that allowed him to shoot performance capture sequences underwater, and the cast learned to free dive so they can hold their breath during extended action sequences. Yeah, um, 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 even though Avatar is full C full on motion capture CGI, they actually like filmed like scenes with like the actors like like diving in the water and all that stuff. That's why when you see the visual effects on screen, it looks it looks amazing and beautiful. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. If you think that technology is amazing, Zanus will blow that technology out of the water. You're looking at like unheard of technology for Zanus. That's why someone like James Cameron would love to direct my Zanus movie. Oh, I mean, if I direct your Zanus movie, guaranteed James Cameron's agent will call my office, and he might he he might want to direct. Oh, I, I mean, I, you want? I'm like James. You're not good for for Zanus, man. You're not good. You're good for the world building of Zanus. He would have a lot of guys, but he's not good for Zanus. James Cameron is 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 is, is a what? Is 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 not is not good for a fantasy movie, I'm saying. Right. Avatar: The Way of the Water brings back Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana, Stephen Lang, Sejuri Weaver, the stars of the first Avatar. It also includes franchise newcomer Kate Winslet, who previously starred in Cameron's Titanic, another another water-based epic that defied the odds to become a box office sensation. And that ends this short article. And I so I read you three art I read you three articles here. I read you three articles here. The Joel Blow article is pretty much the same thing as a Variety article that I read. So I'm going to qu quickly comment on here before comment on this before I shut the camera up here. So when James Cameron said that Avatar needs to do two billion to break even, James Cameron was probably it was a, it's, a, it's a false advertising marketing tool 
to get more people to see his movie. You know what I'm saying? That's my prediction. I think James Cameron knew it didn't need to do $2 million. He was just using it. It was, it was a false advertising marketing tool to get more people to see his movie. It's a, it's, a, it's a smart move to do that, obviously. So he was being a bit deceptive, obviously. He was just he was, he was just throwing around random numbers to get to, to that, that way people know that he was doing it. He was doing it that way people know his movie. Okay, I made a fucking expensive movie. I, my movie has to do like something crazy like this amount, some, around this range to break even. It was, it's a marketing tool to get people to see his movie, which a lot of people do, obviously. Trailers do it. Some trailers look amazing. The movies are terrible, obviously. Some trailers look terrible, and the movies are amazing. It's a marketing tool to get people to see their movie. That's what I believe James Cameron was doing. I think he knew for what he was saying. I don't think he meant the message like John said. No, John's wrong. The, the, according to the, to, 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 to the variety, the, 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 the Avatar has to do like a billion plus to break even, man, like I predicted. Not 900 items. No, it has to do more than that. I don't think he meant the whole thing as a series. No, I think... I threw I threw those comments around what John and, and Rob Mayburn had said, but I think James Cameron was saying this as a marketing tool to get more people to see his movie. It's smart, a smart marketing tool. Okay, let's set the bar even higher than how much my, my movie has to even grow so that way more people see my movie. It's smart, smart marketing tool. Some saying? For example, let's say if I made Zayn's for a billion dollars in Hollywood. I'm in Hollywood. I'm not going to be in Hollywood. Let's say I'm in Hollywood. I see I, I made Zayn's for a billion dollars. And they ask me, how much money does your movie have to make to break even? Yeah, my movie has to do something crazy like three billion bucks to break even. I'm being a bit deceptive, obviously. But I'm doing that as a marketing tool. That way more people can buy a movie. And hopefully my movie hits three billion dollars and it's very profitable. It's a, mar it's a false advertising marketing tool. I think James Cameron was doing that. To, 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 as according to that Variety article, he even said, sources close. Yeah! Yeah, uh, give me three minutes. Yeah, I completed this video just in time because my se my younger stepbrother needs a laptop, obviously. Yeah, I think James Cameron saying that was a marketing, a false advertising marketing tool. It's a marketing tool to get more people to see his movie. Yeah, I made a fucking expensive movie. I want I want I want this movie to do two million dollars. Let's set the bar high at two billion to break even. When in, re in reality, it has to do a bit less. He's just doing that because he wants more people to see his movie. Now, hopefully, more people see his movie. It's a marketing tool. False advertising marketing. So James Cameron's being a bit deceptive, obviously. But but a, a lot of advertising, a lot of what a advertising people do that, obviously, right? A lot of advertising trailers are, 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 are a lot of advertising is a bit deceptive. When you watch the, the McDonald's trailers, the, the burgers look perfect. They look perfect, and when you when you go to McDonald's, it's all, it's a mess. The burgers are a mess. I'm saying here, yeah. False advertising, obviously. A false advertising marketing tool to get more people to see his movie. That's what James Cameron was doing, obviously. I don't think he meant to mess like John said, because the Avatar has to do more than the 800, 900 million to break even. It has to do like a billion, two, billion, three. According to even that variety source, it has to do about 1.4. I think about 1.2 billion to break even. Yeah, around that range. I was right. Not 800, 900 million, John. No, it has to do more than that. I'm saying, huh? Don't hate me, John. I'm saying. And yeah. But the question is, will Avatar hit the $2 billion range? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Will it have enough legs to hit the $2 billion range? If it doesn't, if it doesn't, then what? I will not be shocked. If it does $1.8 billion, it's still a success and made money. It was profitable, it was profitable, obviously. If it does 1.5, 1.6, it was a success, it was profitable, obviously. If it does $2 billion plus, it was obviously a smash hit. Obviously. It was obviously a smash hit, obviously. And let's say if Avatar does hit $2 billion, guaranteed, uh, uh, they're going to ask James Cameron, okay, was your movie profitable? And James Cameron will, yeah, yeah, my movie was profitable. You know what I'm saying? What I really, what, I, I, I just tried to, I, I just threw around a random number there just to get all people to see my movie. James Cameron might say something like that. Yeah, he knew for what he was saying. He James Cameron knows it doesn't need to do to break even. He knew for what he was saying. He was using it was it was a, it was a marketing tool to get more people to see his movie. It's smart, smart, genius move, obviously. To get more people to see his movie, obviously. You know what I'm saying? If if you if you increase if if you, if you throw out a high, 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 if you set the the bar very in other words, James Cameron obviously set the bar very high for his movie. Yeah, I want my movie to do two plus billion dollars. 
Let's tell them, let me tell them that it has to do two billion to break even. In reality, it only needs to do a billion to break even. That way more people see his movie. It's a smart marketing tool. I don't think he, he meant the message like John said. I don't think he was talking about the series like, like, like Rob's. I think it was a marketing tool to get more people to see his movie. Set, he set the bar high for, for his box office, for his, for his expensive average of two movies. That's my, that's what, so he's a little bit deceptive, obviously, with, him, with, with, his, with, 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 with his statements. As a lot of advertising companies are, right? They're a little bit deceptive in their advertising, obviously. You see what I'm saying? So we'll have to have enough legs. We'll see what happens. Will it hit $2 billion? Will it hit $1.5? $1.8? We'll see what happens. Will it be profitable? We'll wait and see in the coming weeks. And stay tuned for more videos on my Hollywood new show. Anyways, it's Ivan Amir. I'm signing out. Peace.